Hey everybody, welcome to Trading Capital's exclusive analysis. In today's video, we're discussing the Widowmaker Natural Gas. We've been trying to warn people really since we put in this high pivot that we're likely going lower and the time has come. We are much, much lower on the chart trading at the $2.08 level. Looking like this week, natural gas is going to try to break the $2 level. Why do I say that? Well, it looks like it's going to try to break the $2 level because you're putting in this potential bearish consolidation on the daily chart. This bearish consolidation also happened to get rejected off of this weekly resistance trend line. Just take a look at that. Pivot to pivot to pivot and we got rejected. So this looks like it wants to go lower. You know, you are technically still oversold on the weekly, but things can definitely get more oversold, especially when you're talking commodities. Commodities have a tendency to surprise people both on the downside and the upside commodities are almost like a light volume stock. It's hard to calculate the exact downside moves because there's overshoot. There's overshoot due to supply disruptions. There's overshoot due to economic and geopolitical uncertainties. There's econ there's there's a overshoot due to weather patterns and constraints, whether you have good weather, bad weather. There's so many different factors that can influence commodities, both to the upside and downside that it's often hard to calculate the exact level, which is why the smartest thing to do if you're go building a position alongside is to have multiple different technical support levels to dollar cost and build a core position. Never, ever go all in at one level, because I know traders that basically chased at these highs thinking we're breaking out of this long basing formation and now they're getting wrecked and they can't even DCA down. And if we go lower, they just get more wrecked and margin called and so on and so forth. There's even traders that started accumulating basically at these pivots that I know around the 248. We haven't, we still hold no position in that gas. There's even people that have started accumulating here. This would have been a decent area, but it's looking like it's starting to fail. So I still think that gas is going to take a dip below sub $2. I still, my thesis, just based off of my own market experience is market Makers try to grab max liquidity before things start to break down and break up. I think that gas has a strong second half 2024. That's when I see the bull run in that gas starting. I see equity starting to roll over. And I just see that uh, that gas wants to grab all of this liquidity from over, you know, a year ago from last year in February. I think that we're going to test and breach this area and shake out a lot of the bulls. You have to remember, like, to force this move up. To force this big bounce, a lot of buyers stepped in at this 210 range. And this is weekly and monthly chart support. So even if we dip through this on a daily or a weekly basis, really what you need to look for is a monthly breakdown candle. So if you flip to the monthly chart, this bottoming tail at around the low end is 210. That's really your line in the sand on the monthly basis. So for all that matters, that gas can dip all the way down to 168 for all we know. And as long as by the end of the month, it puts in a bottoming tail, another bottoming tail and reverses higher and closes back inside here. That's still technically bullish and that's support. But just realize that just like NACAS had a huge dip here, shook out a lot of people, we could see the same thing. You could have a big dip and then you could see a reversal at some point. But again, I'm not probably gonna wait all the way till down here. I have a couple key levels built in sub $2 where I will start accumulating a core position in that gas. But ultimately I do think this pattern likely goes a touch lower. You'll have this trend line of support, pivot to pivot to your breakout, retest here, breakout. You should touch that trend line. That sits roughly at about 184, 185 on the charts, depending on how quickly you get there. We could get there tomorrow for all we know. I mean, it's not that big of a drop to that area. I'm just being a stickler, but it's still another 10%. The thing about being so low on the natural gas chart that any big any move down results in quite a substantial percentage loss. So, I mean, there is still a potential for natural gas to fall off another 19% where I think the absolute big, big technical bounce comes into play. So just understand that you have to be willing to hold a position sometimes on the negative side in order to get in the money, but doing it wisely and, and smart and appropriately through the use of proper TA is imperative to maximizing those gains because you never want to be caught in a position underwater if it falls another 20% from here. You know, imagine you're already fully deep in the position and it falls another 20%. Can you handle that? 
Can you stomach it? There's one thing saying in the moment now when that gas is barely moving, yeah, I can handle another 5, 10, 20% dip, but can you handle your numbers in your investment account dwindling by 20%? You know, will a 100K investment go to 80? Can you handle that? You know, the big thing comes down to the real life experience and practice. But on that note, thank you all for tuning in. Please give this video a like down below. Check out my tradingcapital.ca Discord where I run the swing trading and day trading service. And if you found this information useful, please give it a like down below. I'll also quickly touch base on the NatGas inventories. Thursday is the big day. So February 8th at 1030, we get the inventories. You can see that since really this January 4th, the beginning of the year, we've had a bad report, good report, bad report, good report, bad report. Are we going to continue to follow that trend? The last, you know, several earn, several uh, inventory reports. If we follow the trend, that suggests a good reading, which could pop NAS, get NAC gas up. If NAC gas is to get a pop higher, I think your next resistance is basically 223. The big level the bulls want to recapture is above this trend line. As long as you trade below this trend line, odds are we go lower. So again, please give this video a like down below and we'll see you on the charts a little bit later. Thanks everybody.